then this will be the outside TV, which will, can pop out. Which is nice to sit outside and watch TV. Storage, so you've got these basement storage all the way around. Your propane tank is going to take up some. I believe that's the inverter there. So now once again on this one, you have storage above. And then your cockpit. And I'm sure that, yeah, like right here, you have your leveling, leveling system, which we'll get into later. You have your kitchen area. And yeah, this is gonna fold down and make a bed. This one has a plenty of cabinet space. Microwave also probably, is that a convection also? Yeah, I'm sure it yeah. is. I'm sure, because there's no. And then here again, you have a cover for your three burner stove. Plenty of storage, drawers, cabinets. This one. You have your fridge. Pull out pantry here, which is really nice. Yeah. To have these really deep drawers to keep all your food. Now this one doesn't have obviously the bunk above it. But this is your booth and it looks like this too has storage underneath. And then once again, you can see MSRP and then their price. Full size couch, basically. Yeah. Does this one pull out? Uh, I didn't see it on the. Yes. That's so that's sofa. sleeper sofa. It has two is a electric fireplace, um, and we had that in ours. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's nice. It's more about ambiance than it is about actual heat, but it is kind of cool to have. Um, we didn't really use ours much, to be quite honest. No, but no, it's an option, and you know, and then you get these glass threaded doors here, which really that's not very deep, so that's going to be like. DVDs and things like that that are going there. Um, this is, ah, so this is similar to what we had. This is a half bath, so this, this has a bath and a half in it. This unit, so there's your half bath, which is the toilet and sink. Yep. Plenty of storage in here. This. Okay. This is just more cabinet space. And this one, king bed. King bed. Yep. Again, you have storage up above. Storage down below. And then you want to. Yep. These are quite a bit of closet space, particularly for a yep. motor home. Yep. And you have your TV in here. This one's got a pretty, uh, it's a fairly large shower for an RV. Yeah, yeah. So then there's the shower for this one, which this is kind of the, about the same size as what we had. It may be a little bigger. The shower? Yeah. Yeah. And then you basically have like a full. Normal bathroom. Yeah. Medicine cabinet. And then, yeah, there's your medicine cabinet, which obviously these aren't very deep. But, you know, and then you have more, like a linen closet. And 
and then you have your toilet. So, yeah, this is this is a a class A, and this particular brand is a higher end, a little more luxurious brand. Um, so it's you know it's a very nice nice motorhome. It is gas and not diesel. Uh, diesel would add probably a hundred thousand dollars to that price tag. Yeah. Some people call these super Vs, and some people call them class A. But class see as we were saying sometimes they'll say it out here too yeah so you'll know how big and that's they are a, that's a close approximation i mean sometimes they're not exactly right like our model was a 36 something but um it was actually 38 feet so here again you don't have a bed up above but Obviously, that's where your TV is. You have storage. Once again, standard cockpit. And here, you have the booth dinette. Half the half booth, yeah. Yeah. You have a little seating area there. And that table, I believe, is removable. Yeah. Looks like it. We'll see. Yeah, which is removable. And again, you have storage down here, storage here, and then there's your kitchen with your sink. Looks like another three burner stove. Folds up like that. You have your microwave. This is that's more of a, like a small coat closet, actually. Probably somewhere to hang clothes, though. And then your fridge. Once again. And then here, you have your bed. It looks like this may only be maybe a double bed. And then here, you have your sink and your toilet. You have storage up above. And then you have your shower. So as you can see, I mean, all different shapes and sizes but depending on what you need, you have a wide range to choose from. And here again, it's a 24 MSRP 110 and then 68,994. Mercedes chassis. Chassis, yeah. Let you go ahead and go in. Okay. And then obviously, yeah, these are a lot smaller, but hey, you know. Yep. You've got your 
Get your cockpit. This is gonna drive a lot more like just driving a van. Yeah. You got your storage. TV's up here. You have comfortable passenger seats. There's your smaller TV. This is gonna be all your games. Plenty of storage, yep. Yeah. Your touch screen controls. This one, obviously, you have a, a smaller fridge, which, there we go. Kind of more like a, like a dorm room. Yeah. You have a one, one, one burner, burner stove. Induction, yeah. And you have a microwave down there. your sink and then back here I'm assuming this is where your bed you want to show them the, okay. comes down yeah these are all fold out and this whole thing would make a bed storage uh, you have a TV right there I don't know really who would sit there but you know <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I think, think it's just part of, it. the it's part of the bed. part of the bed. Yeah. Uh, but you know, you've got some decent sized cabinet space again. I mean, they, anywhere they can find space, they they do it. And these shelves are removable because there's a hanger bar in that one. Um, and you've just got loads of space through here. Mm -hmm. And then you've got, uh, obviously you've got, you know, some Little night lights there. You've got just a drink holder there that flips up. Uh, this has, if you see this slot here, that very well might be for a table that's going to fold out, and you can use it. You can see there's there's room for one up there as yeah. well. Um, so they they screw in or or you know so you can take them up and down when you need them. One of the advantages is that this does drive like a van. Um, so you can, you know, use it to do all your sightseeing and whatever you want to do and then take it back to the campsite at night, obviously, and, and have all the amenities you need there. Now, what that does mean is that you're not just leaving it at the campsite set up. You know, you're hooking and unhooking every day. Um, so there are advantages and disadvantages. Um, obviously, it's, it would also be a very comfortable ride for a road trip for multiple people. At least six people would fit very comfortably in here. Um, driving now, I don't know about sleeping. Uh, that would be that would be a different issue. The one there's a couple of things. Obviously, your kitchen is smaller, your fridge is smaller. What's also sort of a classic uh, class B design, although some are a little different, is what's called a wet room. The bathroom is wet, meaning that when you go in the bathroom and take a shower, basically your toilet's there as well as your shower head, so the whole room just, just gets wet. I think for the most part, most people are going to use the showers in a campground rather than this, uh, just to have the room. Yeah. But, you know, for two people or a solo person, I think it's fine. Yeah. Obviously, I don't know if you showed them the price, but you can. Oh. You know, these are a little less expensive. That is a classic Class B for you guys. So if you look at rentals or looking at buying, this is a typical model. would likely ever rent, but just so you guys know kind of the difference, the different styles out there. These are called Super C's. They're all the heavy duty, all diesel, and they're Class C's, but typically uh, they're bigger and uh, diesel, which a lot of Class C's aren't. And, but the layout's going to be like a C, Probably just a little upgraded for most of your seeds, so let's go take a look at that. Okay.
So I guess we'll start at the front, which is pretty normal, basic for most RVs, regardless of the size. But you start here with your your cockpit, so to speak. Um, it's, this one's just basically basically like the inside of a truck. And then up here, this comes down into this space, which makes a bed. And it looks like it has a TV up there, swivel. which I'm sure is on a swivel. Yep. So there you go. And then here's a decent couch. Not sure that this one reclines. Some of them do, some of them don't. And then you have your booth. That is a sleeper sofa. Which, okay, so the sofa is a sleeper sofa. Which means it doesn't recline. And then, does the booth make into the a bed? Does, yep. Yes, so the table will flip down. You can see the yeah. The It'll legs there. Yeah. It flattens down, and then you put the cushions across it. Residential fridge, it looks like. Yeah. Yep. Which is a great size. Yeah. Nice to have. Just a little bit of a challenge if you're trying to run solar. Yep. It looks like here, yeah, you got like a little hanging coat closet. And I'm sure that right there is a lot of the controls in that area right there. Yeah, touch so screen. Have the key in it. Um, kitchen, pretty standard. Some do come with ovens down here. Uh, and ours had an oven, but we never used it because the microwaves are typically convection and microwaves, so you can use it for both. This has got an induction burner as well as two, two gas burners. So that's kind of nice. And just so you guys can see, uh, manufacturer's uh, suggested retail price on this particular model is 218,000, and they have it for sale for 163,000. Um, so you guys know, when you go to buy a motorhome, you can typically expect 20 to 30% off of whatever the MSRP is. That's, that's usually where you'll end up, uh, what you'll end up paying for them. So uh, just like a car, you don't typically pay the actual MSRP. Uh, and this is a bunk model. So you got more more sleeping here, so this will sleep probably two, three, four, five, six, eight people. Yeah. Uh, bunks, they all have TVs. Yeah. King bed. And then you have, looks like plenty of storage. Yeah, a lot of storage in this one. And there's the TV and there. Got, um, and then, this is a closet, which obviously you can see has two doors, and then you have plenty of drawer space, which is nice. Yeah, you've got some controls here for music and TV, and probably some USB plugs over here. So, this is the bathroom. Yep, so it has your sink, your mirror, and then this is really basically your typical yeah, shower. It is. Skylight. So. Gives you some room in there. And then it has a latch so the doors don't. When you're driving. Come on, Yeah. <laughs> Basic toilet. And then this one even has a little cabinet up there. And then. Walk yeah. back through. One thing you you guys will find is that RVs have the storage space in every nook and cranny they can find. So, for example, under these benches, they both of these are pull-out drawers here, um, which is pretty pretty typical. Uh, there's a space underneath the fridge. There, you've got um, you've also got a drawer there under the under those, oops, sorry, bunk beds. So that you definitely uh, have a lot of storage. It's just kind of, you know, depending on the layout of where it is. So here's a view from here that you can see 
the actual living space. look and then um, we'll go in and look at these and then we'll have one more driving type model to show you guys before we get into one pool. And once again you have your bed over the top and if you don't you know necessarily need to use this bed it's a great storage area yeah so if you need more storage and once again your standard cockpit there's the TV. And obviously more storage. And this one has like a, it's larger, like, yeah, like an L-shaped. Dining area. This table is removable, yeah. as you can see. And this is a 21 foot, usually on these. This number right here usually tells you the length of it, if you ever wondered. So. Or close approximation to it anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and this one does have an oven. There's the sink. And then you have a, you know, there's some storage up there. Microwave. You've got a three burner stove. We've got the oven. A traditional RV type uh, refrigerator as opposed to a residential. That's your freezer. And then your fridge. And then here looks like, I don't know, this might be a queen. And then you have a little hanging area, closet. It's actually not bad size. And then in here is your bathroom. So this, these class C's, this is very typical of what you would get in a rental. Uh, they do offer different sizes. This is probably your medium size. They do make some smaller that don't even have the, the booth and then they make some larger. Um, a lot of times in class C's, you kind of have either or. Um, for a dining area, you either have a couch or a, a booth set. It looks like this is kind of a combination, which is nice. I do believe it makes out into a bed. Just don't know how that works. Um, and, and they're less expensive if you're looking to buy one. These are less expensive. They are typically shorter than, you know, most uh, most RVs or most Class A. So getting them into camping spots is not an issue. Like I said, the only thing that I've heard a lot of people complain about is they are top heavy and then driving. I don't know, Trace, if you can show them yeah, kind of what that's like. Let's see if I like. can sit down here. Yeah, I mean, you kind of have that overhang a little bit, but... It's kind of something you probably get used to. Yeah. I don't know if it's kind of a distraction yeah. to people, but yeah. Now, and I know some folks have asked about if there's any kind of special license you need to drive an RV, and certainly not for any A's, I mean, B's and C's. I don't think there's any for class A's unless you get up to the larger ones that have like the third axle on them. And that's gonna be really state dependent. So you're really gonna have to know what your state law requires and then what the laws are in the state you're going to. Um, there are a lot of different towing rules. Some states allow you to uh, double tow where you tow like a vehicle and a boat or something like that, which we have seen. Uh, particularly out west and then it's illegal in other states for example in tennessee where we lived when we owned our motor home um, you couldn't triple toe and the entire 
rig could not be more than 75 feet without needing uh, a, a different kind of license. So uh, that's, you know, it's, it's just state dependent, but I don't know of any C's or B's, class C's or B's that require a special license. All right, guys, we are inside the dealership now on the showroom, and we're gonna show them. We found some really cool vintage campers. So we'll show you those, and then we'll show you some more that are inside, like uh, some pop-ups and some pool behinds. A lot of the pool behinds is what we're gonna show you now. Okay, you want a tent pop-up? <laughs> yeah, I think this is meant for maybe more off-roading type, you know, adventure stuff, but uh, certainly any kind of vehicle would probably pull this. It's lightweight. It's got, uh, you know, it's got two beds. Yep, two beds. That's uh, pretty much and there you have all it. you're going to get from that one. Yep. But that and is, in case you were wondering, here again, the price. Over here, you've got a paper. And, uh, you can see those hydraulics there are holding that up that actually kind of comes down. So, um, but yeah, it's a uh, here they obviously have the booth which I'm sure makes down into a bed and this is the part that has the hydraulics on it just for you to see from the inside and then again it's got your right here yep got a microwave Bridge. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then a bed. Bridge, sink. You got a cooktop. I'm sure it's got a cooktop somewhere. Uh, I don't know no, since it has the. No, it's got the grill outside. The yeah. So there you go. There's your fridge. And your sink. That looks like it might be your small air conditioner. Yeah. So basic, but you know, if you don't need much. There's your A-frame. It's got a fan up there. Here we have storage. This is your pull behind. Looks like it may be a 22 foot. Around there. And this one, you kind of walk in the back instead of the front. Nice bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. There's your bathroom. Cabinet space. Toilet. Yeah. Nice shower. And then you have like a booth. Area. Yeah, that's got a swivel. It probably is removable or something. Uh, somehow. TV. Yeah. TV. Radio. Storage. storage. Electronic storage. Controls. Microwave. This one does have a three burner plus an oven. Storage. Sink. Maybe a 
queen size bed, maybe? Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a pretty decent size shower. Yeah. See? You sit. This actually says it's a king size bed. Y'all can see that right there. So, just to give you some idea. And this does have under underbed storage. Um, yeah. So, if you're looking for something, if you've got a uh, a vehicle that'll that'll pull something. And this is uh that's pretty nice. Yeah. This couch is pretty comfy. Got plenty of space. Yep. It's a that's a big size bathroom. Yeah, that for, is a big bathroom. Trailer. And kitchen. I mean to have the oven and everything. Mm -hmm. So uh yeah, not a not a bad So if you should kinda stand in the bathroom, I mean this is what it looks like from here. So it's pretty spacious. And, you know, the good news with this is, I mean, obviously you'd need a vehicle that could tow it, but then it stays at the campground and you've got your vehicle to go do what you want to do with. And this is, stays at the campground and set up, unlike a, a B if you were just using it, a van, uh, instead. So, you know, obviously anything without a motor um, or drive shaft is less expensive. Uh, but, you know, it's it all depends on what you're comfortable with and, and, and what you really want. These are going to be a little lighter. Um, so even like at campground, you may feel sway a little bit more in something like this than you would in a Class A. But that may not bother you. So, again, advantages and disadvantages to, to every model. It just depends on what you want, what your price range is, how much room you need. And I don't know if you saw this closet up here, but there's a pretty significant room. Oh, I missed this as I was walking in. Oh yeah, that's a decent size. Got you some hooks there. Storage, you could even, Shelves. You could even put a uh, bar across there if you yeah. wanted to to hang stuff. Yeah. So. There's all kinds of things you could do with that. Yeah. If you have any questions, make sure and leave them below. Leave us a comment. Hit the like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And until next time, just remember, live your best life. Bye, y'all. See ya.